this is a work of father's imagination. Don't take it seriously. The story is edited by my pictures and videos belongs to respect to owner. If you like the video, please do consider subscribing my channel for more tuition. Thank you. What about this? Jungkook, don't say anything. Just for putting on your one say yes, then there is the right one, okay? Oof, fine. He was just taking a pair of his clothes one by one from the wardrobe and showing to me by putting on his body so that I can select the suitable one for today's family meet. Ah, what happened? He asked with concern. I groaned because I felt a little bit of pain when I wrapped my left part of the night as I was getting tired in the process of selecting a dress for my husband. Then he reacted. Don't know cook, when I pressed my neck I felt pain. He said, let me see. He saw a bit muffled off in silently without answering. Yeah, why are you laughing? What is there? Come on, tell me. I stood wondering because I didn't understand anything by his behavior. <clears throat> you see by yourself. He took me near the mirror and made me look at the exact spot where I felt pain. He kicked a small but he said in a raspy voice. What is this doing here? I have a family meet today. What should I do now? While I was feeling bad, he just stood and laughed at me. Yeah, Jungkook, don't laugh like that. I'm getting angry. Because of you, it happened. I shouted at him. Oof, oh. can we just go last night? You'll know the real reason behind it. He wiggled his brows at asking. Last night. Van, tell me if you feel any pain, okay? Stop talking and continue with what you are doing. I whispered in his ear while moaning slightly. Actually, we were making love while our daughter was sleeping because it was a day where we got after many days, so we didn't want to miss this chance. We were having pleasure, slowly he started my neck. I was deeply enjoying it, then I sounded. Go, go ahead, come on, it's so nice. I don't mind even if you leave him out. I'm not sure enjoying the moment. At present. After we really call it, he was questioning me with raised eyebrows. I just stood at him with that pout as I felt bad for myself. Yeah, I don't care. As your reason, you should help me. What do I say when my wife demands? Phew. He exhaled a deep breath and followed me to my makeup and dressing room, which was in our bedroom, same as his dressing room. I made myself sit in front of the mirror on the vanity stool, and Jungkook stood behind me, placing his right hand on my right shoulder. My dear wifey, give me that counselor. Great, you know what to do. That's my foot became the richest CEO. I gave it to him, he started applying, then again I screamed. Ouch, look slow. I'm applying slowly, Ryan. Don't scare me with your loud screams, he said after gasping. Me scaring you. You're the one making me behave like this. Can't you just dab the puff slowly? I'm doing so slowly. Can't you just bear when you enjoyed last night? What? I don't start fighting with me, Jungkook. You started it first. We were bickering, then our daughter entered the room. Man and Gook. Tim Tim uncle and Munjabia came along with our manager's family. 
as she used to address us with our names and we told her to be like that with us because we want to be more like her friends more than parents ram and go please listen to me he was still bickering without minding her words until her sudden move startled us ah stomach pain ah stomach pain she suddenly sat down and started crying with that we heard her sobbing and went near her what happened her why are you crying sorry my dear princess we are in all in our silly fight come we'll go to the hospital he lifted her up in his arms and about to go out then she started laughing loudly making us look at her surprisingly are you are laughing but you don't look put her down on the floor I just lied because you weren't hearing me. She little let us what? Lie? Try princess? Because you weren't hearing me. Chim Chim Uncle and Winterbeard came already with manager's family. I was saying this but you both didn't bother to hear me. After she replied to us, we just screamed out of shock. What? They came already. But we haven't got ready. No problem. I told them to wait for some time. You guys can get ready quickly and come down. She smiles. Look, what about this mark? Adam noticed it and asked me, "Mom, what is this purple mark on your neck?" Mark? <laughs> Cook, please help me out. Adam, it's just some sort of sticker. Mom needs to get ready. Come, let's go. I'll get ready after making you get ready. He called up and took her out. Oof, what can we say about this to a seven-year-old child? I saw the little feet and was getting ready. After a few minutes, we got ready and came to the living room, which was downstairs. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Tay. He greeted them along with his manager and family. Winter beer. She quickly ran and hugged him. Don't you deserve arms, huh? He pouted. Oh, why not, Tim Tim Uncle? She hugged Jimmy. Yeah, Aram, what is this? You call the uncle as Winter Bear, but when it comes to me, you call me Tim Tim Uncle? Can't you just call me without an uncle next to Tim Tim? He asked her, making sad that cute face. I don't know. I feel like calling you like that. Yeah, Jimena, don't behave like a kid. Let her be like what she wants. He said while shaking her arm into his lap. Hey guys, it's party time. I came with the cake along with the sparkling wine. Party, party, yeah. Oh, party, party, yeah. We were going to celebrate our success. Jungle began the top one with just zero in the bowl. On this occasion, we have arranged a party. Manlas were supposed to attend now, but they were unable to attend due to flight problem as they went to the United States for the vacation. Oh, congratulations! We happily cut the cake and the sparkling wine. was flowing out of the bottle while everyone was enjoying the party at the same time i and the manager's wife helped me to arrange the food on the table even helpers also helped us we were all seated at our dining table guys don't compromise and have as much as you want without any hesitation he said with all the joy was visible on his face We were having our meal then out of sudden Aram spoke with me Mom can I ask you something Yes sir tell me what it is I said while putting a piece of rice cake in my mouth What is it more for your night which I asked in the morning I don't said to then fit the rice cake into my plate <laughs> Hey hun what happened he patted on my head and made me drink water <sighs> I 
I sighed in relief. Hun, can't you just eat slowly? Arab, you asked your mom something, right? What was it? Mm, no, no, Hun, he's just... She just asked something. I will answer. I asked about your mouth on mom's neck. She said, but luckily Jungle didn't hear it as I was in the middle of them. I can't hear you. She said again loudly. Again, I tried to stop her. But this time she said loudly, where everyone in the dining hall can hear. Mark on mom's neck, dad. After hearing her, Jungkook thought, as he didn't know what to answer. In fact, he felt like a strong agent in front of the people who like to play with him. Shit! He knelt his forehead. Within a second, everyone became silent and looked at us. What kind of mud did you see, Aram? He asked in no time. If she says anything, he will start playing with us. Uh, nothing, you mean? She saw a scratch about what she was asking. I'm feeling fine or not. No, it's not a scratch. I know how it is. See how many? She showed that way she got from falling on the floor. She was saying no. About what she was talking, Jungkook? I and Jungkook smiled nervously, seeing each other's faces. Hey Aram, what color mark did you see? Um, purple? Yes, yes, purple color mark. That one, it was just a mosquito bite. My mom used to have it every other day, even one time, two times. I saw it on my dad's neck also, with that manager on his white face palm with chai. Oh, now I got it. It's a mosquito bite. Isn't it fun? What do you say, Jungkook? He giggled at us, feeling embarrassed. We looked away. Mosquito bite. But it will be very small now. I have to hurt sometimes on my neck, on the arm. It will be red color, not purple color. She was looking at us with a blank face. Aram, come here, I'll explain. She went to him as he was sitting opposite her. Chim Chim Uncle not charming, she asked while sitting in his lap. You know, there is a big muscular mosquito. Like your father, because of it. The mark became like that. What do you say, muscular mosquito? I mean, jungle for extra spice. They had one more question. Ahem, did you hear any sounds last night? Let's went where I heard sounds. Even bed was also shake. I thought it was an earthquake, so I closed my eyes tightly and covered under the blanket. It wasn't an earthquake here. Mosquitoes are making loud. Senseless mosquitoes. This scared poor kid. He winked at us with a smirk. Leo, tell me, do you want your brother or sister? I want brother, but how can I get? Mosquito started making love now. Soon you will get. Really? Hey, I'm going to be a sister, I'm going to be a sister. She was happily dancing, we also smiled, seeing at her happy face. It's the end. Thanks for watching.